Here is how to add, link, and customize buttons within Wix. Hey everyone, welcome. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on buttons in general. So I will be talking about how to add them, how to link them to a specific page, and how to also customize them to your liking. Uh, it is going to be very simple and easy. It's not going to take um, much. So let's actually get to the video and not waste any time. So uh, obviously you will need to go ahead to your uh, Wix dashboard and then go to edit site and then from here you will need to go ahead and find the section that you want to add the button to so i will create a container and a section uh just prepare the things for the button so you know a little bit of a um customization i just don't I don't want to add a button out of nowhere so it, it can give you an idea of what you can do it could be an image it could be a container completely up to you so for example, this is the whole thing is for like videos like this. So uh, let me just add a section uh, in here, for example. So let me just uh, click on add section. Let me just create a blank uh, section. And then from here, I will go ahead and add uh, elements. Let me just add a box. So this is how to add a container. If you don't know how to, uh, I will just drag and drop this one. It kind of looks nice. You can make it a picture, by the way, an image uh, or whatever it can be. It's so buttons, you know, can be on top of it if you want. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, now, let me just make this a little bit bigger. And let's just say that we have this container and we want to add a button to it. Uh, let me just add text to even ensure like, you know, the whole section is uh, nice and uh, done. So let me just add heading four. Uh, have it in the container, like right in there. Uh, and let me just edit text. Make sure the spacing is in the middle. And let's just name it or say shop. Now, give it a different font, and we should be good to go. So let's just do this for now. Uh, okay, let me do that again real quick. So Arial right there, and let me just adjust the size. Okay, so let's say we want to add a button to this container here. So it's very, very simple. Uh, what you will need to do is after you find your section and everything, you will need to go ahead and go to add um, elements, the plus icon on the top left, you just click on it, and you should find plenty of elements that you can add. Now, it is going to be apparent to you that you see button here, and that is pretty much where you will find the buttons that you can add. So you can just click on here, uh, and you can find plenty of different filters. So you've got themed buttons here, those ones right here, and then you've got text and icons. Uh, those are going to contain both text and an icon within the button, so you can customize both. Uh, and you can change the icon, by the way, and I will show you how to do so um, later on. You've got icon buttons, so those are just going to be icons, and you can use them as buttons. You can link them to a page. Image buttons, uh, you can see right there, it's images, but they have a link to them. So if you don't want to include text, just a button, maybe those uh, can be useful. And then you've got documents and pay buttons and more. So for the sake of this tutorial, let me just use one of these. Uh, for example, this view more button, let me just say I want to use this one. Uh, so I'll, what what I will do just drag uh, and drop it wherever you want. So let's just say it's over here. And now we can see that this button, um, the color of it kind of doesn't suit the background because they kind of have the same color. Uh, here is going to be where you will need to go ahead and click on the design aspect here. So once you click on design, it's going to ask you whether you want to change uh, the button uh, that we have just chose, uh, or you can go to, to the bottom of the menu and you can customize design. This is going to give us plenty of options when it comes to designing the button. So if I just click on it, we can like change so many things for both the regular uh, and also for the hover. The hover is going to be once you hover over it, how it's going to look like. So let me just, for example, go to the regular, and both of, of which have uh, the same uh, 
options that you can change by the way so let me just change the regular for now and skip the hover so background uh fill here let me just change the color so it matches a little bit my site and it kind of appears more so for example like this orange you can you know it, it kind of matches my site uh and now you can like see the text is a little bit uh small here and you can by the way set the opacity here um so let's say we are done with the background fills the colors uh let me just go to text now so let's change the text aspect here you can change the font size so you can make it a little bit bigger and you can make it bold if you want which i prefer uh, and then you can style it more so you can style the text by whether you want heading one heading two uh, heading four and so on and you can change the font so let me just again put uh, the font that I used with this and keep it like that and you can increase the font size like we said and you can change the text color from here and you've got the outline color if you want to change that as well so with that being said, now we can also change character spacing uh, and uh, things like that. And we can also add shadows if that's what we want. So this is going to be what you can edit from within the text. So by the way, you can resize the button the way you like from the outside. Just, you know, change it everywhere you want and you can place it back once you are done resizing. Okay, so let's say... Uh, I don't like that my button is kind of like the edges are square. I want them to be round. You can do so. Again, go to design, go to customize design, and then from here you can go to border. Uh, and not border, I mean the, uh, yes, the corners we want. We, we don't want the borders, we want the corners. From the corners, we can increase one size here. So for example, let's just say 15. And it's all, all, all four of them are going to change, by the way, automatically, unless you unlock here. Uh, and you can see it's a little bit more round. Let me just increase that as well. So let me just do 20, for example. And now you can see it's more round. Now, obviously, if you want it to be more square, you can just set it to zero. So let's just go back to design, customize design. And for the border, you can change the thickness of the border if you want. So let me just do three. And let me change the color to black. And now you can see it does have a little black border around it and it can give a little bit of a appealing um, theme to it if you if you would like to keep it if not you can just turn it off it's completely up to you so again if we just go back to design customize design we've got shadows if you want layout uh, is going to be padding most of the time it's not going to have a lot of difference and then we've got icon here if we just select show icon is going to show us the icon that exists within it and you can change the icon and i will show you how in a sec so let me just increase the size of it a little bit like so i think this looks nice and you can rate, rotate it and change the color of it now we are done with the design tab the only thing left is going to be if you want to design the hover i'm not going to do so because it has exactly the same thing and just know that it's going to look like this once you hover over it so you can change it to, to the way you like uh and yeah so then you can just go to layout here from layout you can change a few things whether you want the text only text and icon icon only or nothing at all uh, and then we've got the uh, the icon position whether you want it to be on the right left uh, down or top this is a right arrow so we'll just keep it like that and you can increase or decrease the spacing between the uh, text and the icon and then the alignment as well so if you want it to be to the right to the left and so on last step of customizing a button would be if you double click on it you can change the text obviously so let's just do shop now for example oh my bad okay and then you can also change the icon. So if you want to change the icon, you don't like this arrow or any other icon from any other different button, you can just click on it and it's going to give you the option to add an icon from, you know, your images. So once that's done, it's going to leave you with the last step, which is going to be link to. And you can just choose a link and it could be a page, web address, section or anchor and the rest of these that you have. So, for example, if you want a web address, you can just enter it over there and so on. 
Uh, if you don't want to use it from here, you can also do it from here. You just click on it and you can find um, the link icon here. If you click on it, again, the same window is going to uh, appear for you and you can just choose a page. So which page? Let's just do the um, product page, right? Because this is a shop now and just click on done. It should be good to go and you should be good to go. So if we just publish and preview, so let's just say we're done here, save and preview at the end. So let me just click on preview. It should completely work. This is the hover, so you can adjust this, like I said. And this is how it looks like without hovering. And if I just click on it, it's going to send me to the product page uh, like this one that I have. So this is basically how to use buttons with Wix. I hope this video was uh, clear to follow, and that's pretty much it. I hope you liked this video, and thanks for watching.